Well, let's get right over to Uptown right now and take a live look outside from our Arlington camera, see what this Monday looks like. Ooh, pretty day as it's turned out to be. Just a few little wispy clouds hanging overhead. What does that mean? Let's go check in with Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane. Yeah, we had that kind of cool air wedge that was in place, Brian, earlier today and kind of locking the cloud cover in place, but not obviously the entire day. Everywhere we've been seeing that increase in sunshine from the sand hills and out over the Piedmont. Meantime, friends up in the mountains and foothills just staying a little more on the cloudy side as evidence there from a look at the satellite imagery. And so temperatures are responding with that extra sun sunshine warming through the high 60s to around 70 close to average where we should be for highs this time of the year just a light and variable wind and temperatures are even warmer with the extra sunshine to the east we've got low 70s in Wadesboro Rockingham down through Chesterfield County however and under more clouds you've got still those cooler temperatures in place only low and mid 50s up in the mountains and upper 50s to lower 60s from say Hickory and down toward the Shelby area in Cleveland County so some spotty light rain continues to be focused off to our south here and it's possible that with that moisture and that flow coming around high pressure to our north and east that along with the clouds we could still be looking at some patchy light rain and drizzle more west of I-77 into the night. Obviously the majority of the showers and storms are closer to this front and that front will be a, a weather maker for us toward the middle of the week. So this evening most of us stay dry mostly to partly cloudy temperatures by 9 p.m. down to about 60 degrees and election day weather for tomorrow temperatures we back up in to the lower 70s. A lot of clouds around though throughout the day and notice we do have some low but not zero rain chances on there. So yes, I would say keep the umbrella in the car. You're headed out to vote just in case. It's not going to be much rain if you see it at all where you live. And talking about some of the other swing states here and election day weather could have maybe a little bit of an impact. We could be looking at some stronger storms, not here, but say for example, Wisconsin up through Michigan, Wisconsin. They actually have a low risk of maybe a brief spin up tornado and maybe some strong gusty winds as well with some of those thunderstorms. But here, definitely more tranquil of weather conditions will start primarily dry in the morning. Notice though, we still have some green showing up mountains and foothills. So that's where we're going to see the better chance. And overall, for much of election day tomorrow through about 4 to 6 p.m., west of I 77 will give us the best chance of some of the, the spotty showers moving on in from the south and then lifting up to the north. Wednesday, cloudy start, primarily dry, but then look what happens. The front getting a little closer by late afternoon and evening. That rain looks to become more widespread, even heavy at times. Now we have some new developments in the tropics as well. We had tropical depression forming earlier today. Now over the Caribbean Sea, look at this south of Jamaica. We have tropical storm Raphael, so it's organized a little more, gotten a little bit stronger. Tropical storm status with that sustained wind speed up to 45 miles per hour. This one could reach category two hurricane status by the time it approaches western Cuba toward the middle of the week. We are not looking at a direct impact for us here in the Carolinas, but people living along the central and even western Gulf Coast all the way out through Texas. You can see how wide that cone of uncertainty is as to where it may go eventually by the weekend as we look, could be looking at that impact there, more of a direct impact as a tropical storm, a slightly weaker tropical storm by that time. But along with another front and some of that tropical moisture that could bring us higher rain chances here in the Carolinas for the weekend. So I've upped it up to about 50% chance. So watching for more showers, potentially a few thunderstorms by then with high temps mostly in the 70s.